Many consumers today are concerned about how the products they buy affect the environment. Not just for themselves, but for generations to come. Dairy farmers worry about this too. I'm Courtney Guerra. I'm a culinary farmer and I've traveled the world exploring different farming techniques and operations. But I never knew much about dairy farming. Today I'm meeting Allison of Rancho Teresita Farm and she's proving that you can farm on scale and still protect your land, your animals, and the environment. Allison, nice yeah, to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Thank Welcome you. to the Central Valley. I'm a California girl, so it's nice to be back home. From what I'm seeing in the farms we visited, it's just a lot bigger than the farms I've been to before. It might look bigger on scale from what you guys may have seen, but we're doing everything that we possibly can for the environment. And I would love to show you around and show you what we're doing here. I would love to join so, you. Okay, let's, let's do it. it. Electric vehicle, step one in the carbon footprint. <laughs> Dairy farming has been in my life for over three generations. My grandfather started dairying in California over 80 years ago. Now we're raising our kids to hope that they have the opportunity to be raised the way that we've been raised on this awesome farm. We're gonna start our tour here. This is one of our Jersey cow freestyle barns. You're so cute. Yes, we've slowly started converting actually to Jerseys. We do have Holsteins. So why did you guys decide on this breed? Their milk actually has a lot more fat in it than Holstein milk. Mm -hmm. So their milk is used more for products that are high in butter fat. So, I mean, you guys obviously have a lot of girls here, a lot of cows. Technology must play a big part in how you're able to scale at this level. It does. We just put in LED lights. Being more energy efficient, recycling all of their bedding, and we have solar panels that we just put in 10 acres of solar. And another effort that we are making here at the dairy is a methane digester. What is a methane digester? Yes, so I asked that question too. Yeah. <laughs> I've never heard um, of that before. And so what it is actually gonna create gases that we can use to drive our cars and to fuel our homes. One cow's lifespan could get a car all the way across the country. Wow, from a consumer standpoint, it, it just feels so hard. Like, what are the answers? This this is part of the solution. We want to be somebody that people want to mirror because right. what you're eating and feeding your families is the same thing that we're eating and feeding our families, and we're producing that for you. Right. I am just floored because this is real-time solutions to the big issues that we've got with scaling, uh, with feeding large growing populations. It's innovations like this that make me feel like we're going in the right direction in the future. Hey, honey. We're gonna go check out the solar panels. Do you wanna go? Yeah. Is this your husband? Yes. Hi, Courtney. Case. Nice to meet you. You too. Thanks for having me on your farm. Anytime. You guys lead a pretty impressive operation. This is what 10 acres of solar looks oh my like. Gosh, 10 acres. There's 7,208 panels out here. I'm just thinking like, oh, some on the roof uh, along one of the barns or whatever. It's 10 freaking acres of solar panels. It's crazy. Yeah, you know, just learning about what you guys are doing on the farm, Allison had mentioned a methane digester. Yeah, we'll hopefully start construction here oh, in the next couple months. All of our uh, wastewater will uh, end up in a covered lagoon. So all the microbes and everything will be eating and feeding off of each other, creating more methane in there because it th actually thinks it's still in a cow's stomach. They're taking all of the waste that the cows produce and, you know, convert it into a natural resource and to be able to use it as natural gas. And that's mind-blowing. And are other farms in the area doing this with you? I think it's about 12 farms that we're all going to tie together. I can't imagine something like this is cheap. It is not cheap. <laughs> and uh, so there is uh, grant money. Land of Lakes has a program. They've partnered with a company that we're working with to where you can borrow against your equity to help uh, pay for the project. That's awesome. That co-op structure helps us in order to do what we want to do. To hear that Lando Lakes is supporting the Rancho Teresita farm in this way, and then to also hear that they're having the same model of cooperation with other local farmers to build the methane digesters, I think this is the model that we can all learn from and take into the future. Dairies have this rap that, you know, we're just bad. Bad for the environment, bad for everything, right? So as dairy farmers know, there is a misconception that we have a huge carbon footprint. 
And it is very important that we change that. And we want to be that beacon for other dairies so that they can see that being sustainable is possible and being sustainable should be where you want to be. These girls love visitors. All right. Let's check out the farm. Hi, ladies. Look at how cute you are. Hi, girls. Hi. Oh, my God, this is crazy. <laughs> Come on, ladies. They're big animals, and there's a lot of them, and they're all around us. We're getting it's, surrounded. We are. It's like a sea of beautiful little cows. Are you ready to give one of these ladies a bath? I would love Just like to. us, they love to be pampers. Oh, We're gonna go pamper let's some go girls. Let's go to the spa, ladies. Yes. <gasps> You're fine. <laughs> See, they don't go for us. Yeah. The girls, the cows, they get pampered. They get washed uh, regularly. So no, her name is Flawless. Is... We are giving Flawless, flawless. a bath. Flawless. First of all, Flawless is flawless. I'm having a great time. And to see Allison and how much she loves it makes me love it even more because I can tell that this is kind of a sacred moment for them. Okay. Flawless. You are officially flawless, flawless. <laughs> So this is my crew. I'm Cameron. Cameron, nice to meet you. I'm Case. Case and I have three children, and we're very fortunate to live on the dairy and be a part of the day-to-day. -day. Our in-laws are also very involved. OK, guys, I'm here to help. What are we going to do? I don't know what we're going to do Go feed now. the cows and bottles. The whole family unit, right? You've got the grandparents, you've got the parents, you've got the kids, this multi-generational moment that they share. This is what they do every afternoon when they come home from school. They meet up with their mom and their dad and they take care of the animals. I know that there's so much love that is here on this farm. I'm gonna cook you a really yummy dinner tonight. <laughs> All right, so I'll see you guys in a little bit, back at the house. Okay. The least I can do is take a little off their plate and go into their kitchen and cook them a meal. It's gonna bring me such great joy to be able to step into their beautiful kitchen and get to cook a meal for the entire family. Getting to use everything of Allison's, her pots, her pans, the little napkin holders, little cows, a lot of these pieces were her grandmother's, her mother's, Case's mother's. So it's a real expression of heritage also going on in this kitchen. Okay, guys, here we go. Yummy. Dig in. <laughs> Investing in the future and doing the things that we're doing here is so important to me because I want it to be here for our children. Allison, thanks so much for having me on your farm today. It was really informative and really inspiring. Oh, we loved it. Thank you for coming and recognizing all the hard work that we put in here. Dairy's not going anywhere. We need to be smarter about how we're able to continue to scale. And Allison and Case are really showcasing how you can do that. And they are embodying this idea of collaboration, of a collective, and working hard to bring this industry into the future in a sustainable way. We have truly enjoyed you coming in. I hope you come back. Oh, definitely. Thank you. Cheers. 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 <laughs>